Lindita Halime. Hey. She's from Albania. She's in Spain for the Eurovision pre-party. The last stop on the promo tour for most of the acts. But for Lindita, this is not the last stop. Are you ready to talk about it? Let's do this! Lindita, Woman of the Week, 30,000 views on your video performance really? for Amsterdam. The one you, you choose not to lip sync your performance and then oh God. the video just blew up. And your outfit was incredible. 30, 30,000? The one, the lip sync? The, 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 yeah, the lip sync one. I actually saw it and it's 108, so you don't lose oh, 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 my credit. 108? <laughs> Yes, 108,000. Girl. Girl. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so let's talk about your outfit in Amsterdam. Okay. In Albania, there's been a lot of talk and okay. around Europe. Isn't it what it's supposed to be about, though? It is. <laughs> do, you think, do you think that affects the way you approach your style for the promoter or Eurovision or your life in general? Oh, absolutely not. I'm very comfortable in my skin. Like, I believe I work super hard to get to where I am and I feel like if you got it, then you flaunt it, right? So I feel comfortable. Like, it does not affect nothing. It, on, on the opposite, actually. It just makes me, makes me be more enthusiastic and have more fun. And Because, honestly, this is fun for me. Like, this is an experience. So I want to enjoy every second. I, I, if I feel sexy, I want to feel sexy. If I feel sad, I don't mind crying because... I am not afraid to show emotions, whether it's sad, whether it's happiness, whether... Maybe because I'm just super comfortable in my own skin, like I said, so... In Albania and Kosovo, um, the reaction, how has it been over the, the, the past few weeks, after you released the revamped version um, and the English version of World, um, are they taking it well? Are they excited for you? Honestly, everybody I've met so far has been super supportive of me. We've been taking pictures, you know, they've been wishing me well. But at the same time, I feel like those who don't know me they, or people who won't like me as an artist, they just won't like you, period. So you can try to give your heart out and they're still not going to like you. So to me, it's all about those who care, those who support me. That's who matters to me, honestly. So recently you covered um, a cover of yes. Lydia Isaac's song, Falling Stars, from, from last year. Can you tell us a little bit more about the experience of covering a Eurovision song and what does that song mean to you? Because I know you've been very emotional recording the song and it's been um, a long process for you. Right. So honestly, I want to give a big shout out to Lydia and She's also, also Deben because he kind of got us connected together. You know, we were talking. He's also a good friend of mine. Uh, he, he told me, he said... Okay, you should listen to some of the songs that maybe you didn't have. So I listened to some of them, but then I listened to Lydia Isaac and I was like, this is it. I really love this song. Like, first time I heard it, I honestly cried. It was so emotional, the lyrics, everything. So you're planning to release it before hitting uh, ground in Kiev? Yeah, it could or be next do, week. Oh, okay. Yes, it could be okay. next week. So we're still working on the video and everything, but I recorded my studio version and now I'm just ready to do so it. So you're doing like a. Mm, a slow version of Falling yes, Stars. But I'm also doing it in both languages, French and English. There you have it. Yes. <laughs> we need to talk about your stylism again. Okay. Your stylist, talk us a little bit more about him because he's been providing you. Look at right, this. Right, so far. This, huh? Well, actually, this is styled by me. I just bought this somewhere. Never mind, don't <laughs> ask me. But <laughs> your stylism for yes. the party is that. Yoni Petty. He's been uh, responsible for the party. It's like for all my appearances mm. around. He's going to be the one responsible for Kiev as well or do you have? Uh, so far, we're still talking about it. <laughs> okay. But I also had like Mira Shuti. I've worked with her on a final night of festival. So we're going to like collab together and we're just going to make it all happen. Mm. But I don't know what the end results will be because it's just so much in the air right now. We don't, you know. We spoke earlier about the promo tour um, or Spain being the last stop for most of the acts in the okay. promo tour. But for you, it's not. Can you tell us more about where you're going to be next? Um, I know you're going to be in Greece and you're going to be in um, Montenegro as well with Slavko. What's it going to be? The experience. I just feel like, you know, this is my, uh, I made great friends with Slavko, mm -hmm. so he was personally inviting me to a fashion show that his designer is uh, organizing, okay. and it's really a great thing for me to be there. I can't wait to meet all the Montenegro fans, and I also made great friends with Tiana from Serbia. I feel like these are like our first neighbors, and I'm just, mm -hmm. they're so amazing to me, and I'm, I'm loving them. 
talking about specifically about Serbia um, and Montenegro in this yes. case, um, do you feel like politics get in the way um, you approach anyone at Eurovision or do you think love and music conquers all, art conquers all? Well, my song itself says, let the love unite us all. To me, politics should not play in art at all. I mean, everybody has their own points of views, but personally, I'm enjoying Slavko and Tiana so much. Like, for example, last night with Tiana at the party, we stayed in the bathroom for an hour talking. We were having our girl talk, and I don't care what nobody says. I don't care what happened in the past. The past should stay in the past because we're, we got to move on to the future right now. So... Lindida, do you have a message for all your friends of Wibi Blogs? I don't know if we're going to meet any time before Kiev. I if we're do you, don't abandon me. I don't know if oh. we're going to be in Montenegro. What are you going to do in Greece? We didn't talk about Greece. What are you going to do in Greece? I'm going to perform this song, and I'm also going to perform my new song now, which is going to be released after your version with the music video. And I'm also performing that song tonight also, so I'm just ready to turn up, as they say in Atlanta. So. <laughs> <laughs> um. Now, do you have a message for all your fans and Wibi Blogs? Let the love unite us all. Oh, I love you. <laughs> There you have it, Lindita Alimi. We are in Spain and she's going to Montenegro and she's going to Greece and we'll meet in Kiev Absolutely. in three weeks. Oh my God. Three weeks. It's yeah. closer than I wanted to be. I'm so like excited and nervous. Actually, no, I can't wait for it to happen. I'm just ready for all this bubble thing, you know. So. <laughs> See you later. Yes.